Hello and welcome back to another part of design your own level tutorial. In this video, what we will be doing is just taking a break from creating all these items and try and do something a little bit simpler. So we blocked out our level in like one of the first videos. So what we're going to do is we're just going to apply a texture to it. So I managed to find a texture that is fairly close to our mirror's edge um, texture over here. Now, actually, when I was looking at it, I kind of thought maybe it's exactly the same texture. So just to show you what it is, it's here on um, textures.com. Uh, it's a link. I'll put the link in the description below for this texture. So what's nice about it, it does have a seamless version of the texture. But if you actually look at these blocks over here, and there's like a little stain running down this one over there. Let's just see there. Uh, you can only like see it a little bit. Unfortunately, I can't um, show you directly, but it's stain is down there. And if you actually go back to the video, you'll see, there we go, there is a stain running down there, but that's running down the middle one, so it's a little bit different. But this actually looks like either a very, very, very similar texture or identical texture. So what I did is I decided to download the seamless one, just for simplicity's sake. So I downloaded that one. And then I put it into my design folder. And then I'm just quickly going to show you a fairly quick way on how to just get your texture to inside of Unreal Engine 4 without having to do normal maps or anything like that. And then afterwards, we'll do some normal maps and just compare the two. Okay, so just to show you, but I've been trying to just tidy up a little bit. So... Uh, Try and keep everything as tidy as possible in your design folder, just to give you a little bit of a, a just a sense of order. So um, over here, that's the concrete texture that I downloaded. So you can see that's what it looks like. This one is seamless, so this is the one we're going to use. And I'm just going to jump straight into Unreal Engine 4. And click Import concrete and we'll take the seamless one and now it's got that straight up name that uh, it's given from cgtextures.com so I'm just going to change it to concrete seamless and then we're going to jump over to materials and just create a new material now no, there's also another way to do this if you just actually drag a texture directly onto an item. So if we go to our concrete seamless and drag it directly onto it, it will create a material for it automatically. So we can actually use that, but uh, I find it's best just to like go and create your materials itself because then you will give it proper names and so on. So let's just call this uh, concrete mat. Okay, and I'm opening it and then I'm going to go into textures and then just drag in our seamless texture from the concrete. And now you have a little bit of flexibility over here, because if you open your texture and you look at it, you can effectively use one of the colors itself. So we can use any one of the channels or channel alone and then drive a different color into it. So from here, if we use the base color, you can see it's like a, a slight uh, darkest greenish tint to it. So I don't necessarily want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drive this directly into the base color as the gray. And then just see what that looks like. So the gray looks all right. But what we can do is we can go with, let's do a lerp value. And we're going to do a vector parameter. We're going to feed the red value. You can actually use any one of these. They all look fairly similar. We're going to feed the red value into A. And then we're going to set a color for this one. So we can do from here whatever we want. We can do a greenish color. And we're going to feed that into B and then just feed that into the base color. And then you'll see, there we go. 
So we, we can effectively then set any color for this, whatever we want. So you don't necessarily have to go with your green color because that's a color we tried to change from the beginning, but you can set this to almost any color that you want. Now, if we're going to use this one's base color as the A input, then it's going to try and mix the two. So your um, color that you're mixing it with might not come through as good. So uh, as I said, just try and use one of the other channels. All right, so from here, what we're going to do is we are going to use a constant value for our metallic and we're just going to set that to zero. Uh, we can actually use the texture itself, but it's not required. So, and then we're going to actually use a part of the texture for the roughness value itself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this loop and I'm going to feed it into the roughness. And then I'm just going to drag a value off of there. And then we can actually feed a constant into it. I actually think a multiply node might work a little bit better with this, but uh, let's actually see. Let's try a multiply node rather, because we only need the, the two values. Okay, so, and then we can drive a constant, feed that into B, and then feed that into the roughness. And right now it's got absolutely zero roughness, so it's very, very shiny. So we can set this to, I think, 0 0.8. So it just kind of gives a shine back. And that looks okay. All right. So now we got our roughness set up and then lastly, normal map. But now we don't have a normal map, but we can try and create a normal map from a height map. But we also don't have a height map. But uh, once again, we have a grayscale image or actually we have our basic image here already. That's got enough shadow information that could generate a normal map for us. It might, it might still be better to create a normal map your, yourself inside of a program like GIMP, but we're just going to test this out just to see how it works. So I think you just right think you type in normal from height. There we go, normal from height map. But now we need to copy this texture sample, bring it down. We're going to right click on it and convert it to a texture object. And we're going to feed this into the height map and then feed the, the result into normal. And that is incredibly strong. So we're just going to grab a constant, feed it into the intensity, and then give it a value of two. I should think a value of one should be fine then. Here we go. So we kind of got a normal map going there. Let's go back to the circle. You can start to see what it looks like. There's a slight problem of the normal map that you're generating does actually cause that slight artifacting. So it's not quite perfect, but if you're just trying to do something very quickly, uh, you can get away with uh, using this as your, your normal map. And then we can just set texture coordinates. I think what we're going to do is texture coordinates. Feed that into the UVs. We'll set this at four by six, I think it is. I actually think it's no, six by four. And then we'll feed the same value into the coordinates here at the bottom. All right, and that should be it. And if we click apply, Let's just see what that looks like. Go over to our materials and then just, where is it? Concrete material, drag that onto. All right, well, let's actually drag it onto all of the walls and then just see what it looks like. And that looks pretty good. So for like a quick, quick normal map that isn't really a normal map and just to get your texture into your level to get it to look good, it does actually work. So 
Uh, what we're going to do next is let's just make a normal normal map for it. Uh, I think we're going to go through the whole process of setting up a PBR texture, which uh, might be a, a we'll we'll compare the two. We'll create a different material for it, and we'll just see if everything looks okay. So we're going to do that in another video, which will basically be part two of this video. So if you uh, like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Um, please subscribe and then I will see all of you in the next video.